my channel so today I am going to be doing pretty much a full face using Dole Beauty products I absolutely love Dole Beauty products the shadows are super pigmented I have used them before in a previous video a long long time ago but yeah the shadows are really underrated to be honest um, the lipsticks I love and yeah most, most of their products I haven't tried the blushes which I don't have today and I haven't tried the highlighters, although I've heard they're amazing. So I'm going to be compromising on a couple of products. But yeah, it's pretty much a full face. So I've already done my base, because uh, obviously I couldn't get the products from them for that. Which I used, the, the I'm loving this at the moment, the Soap and Glory uh, Glow Job. Which is kind of like, a, it gives you a, a sun-kissed tint underneath as a primer. It's really, really good. It's weird, because it comes out like show you a tiny bit comes out like that but then when you rub it in and if you can see that it goes like a, a tan color whoops it's like a tan color it's I don't know how it works it must have like little bursting beads in it or something but I love it so so good and then I used the Misha BB cream which I reviewed on my previous video which I am loving and the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer and then I just did my brows with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter and the Primark brow pencil. So uh, yeah, let's crack on. Right, okay, so I'm going to start off with my eyes today. So I'm kind of doing it in a little bit in reverse just in case I get any fallout. Although I don't think I will with this palette to be honest, but just in case I do and then it's less to remove and clean up. So I'm going in with this one, which is the Doll Beauty uh, Peaches and Pop-Tarts palette. And I love this. There's so many gorgeous, gorgeous colours in here. So we have all of these absolutely stunning, stunning colours. I'm going to go for, I'm not going to go for the brights, which is what I did last time. I'm going to go for these sort of darker shades. I wanted to create kind of like a more wintry glam look, I think. And then this colour Rush is what I'm going to use for my highlighter, which is oh, it's just such a nice colour. So, right, it's kind of like a, a brownie plummy look today. So I've just primed my eyelids using the P. Louise 0 0.5 base. Right, so the first one I'm going to take is this one here, which is called Berry Blend. I'm going to take that into my crease. You got that sort of colour. Like that. So I've taken that all around my crease and then I'm just going to blend that in. Like that. These are so easy to blend. That's one of the things I love so much about this palette is it's minimal blending. And uh, yeah, anything that makes my life easier is a, a win. Right, so next up, just above my crease, I'm going to take this colour here called Coke. It's kind of like a mid-brown. Like I have just um, used a brush swipey thingy bob just to, just to uh, clean off the colour. Mm -hmm. So just like that, and blend. Like that. That's cool. Right, and then on my outer corner. I think I'm going to go in with with this one here, which is called Cheeky Vimto. It's quite a big palette, so it's quite hard to show you. It's really nice, like plummy purple shade. Oh. 
and blend. Right, okay. So what I'm gonna do next is just pop off camera, cut my crease, and I just wanna clean up this edge a bit as well, and I will be back. Right, okay, so on the where I've cut my crease, I'm gonna go in with a shimmer. I'm gonna use one of these, uh, I don't know what these are, they're like pigments, glitter pigments. This one is called Floss. These are out of the, the kit as well. So it's new, I haven't used these yet. So I'm just gonna take the foil off. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, it's like a, a coppery, just got some on my lap goldy with a flex of pinky purple in so it'll go quite nice with this look <clears throat> right okay so i'm going to pack that on to where i've cut my crease i hope it works not with that brush Right, so it's not going to stick to that. So, uh, change of plan. I'm going to go in with this colour here called Ice, which is obviously a really icy, whitey colour. And then I'm going to try and put that over the top and keep my fingers crossed. So, we'll go in with Ice first. Just like that. Kind of hoping if anything that that's set it. Oh, it's so annoying when you've got hooded eyes. Look, and when you cut the crease and then you look up or something, it just transfers. It's so frustrating, but I'll clean that up after. Right, so then we're going to try this pigment again. It's nice, but it's a bit more of like a, an iridescent glow. I still like it though. Right, okay. So then underneath, I think I'm gonna go in that brownie shade actually. Yeah, so underneath I'm gonna go in with the, the brownie shade. So unorganised today. Take a little bit on a pencil brush. Just run that underneath. pretty much done actually so all I need to do is clean up where it's made a bit of a mess there which is annoying and uh, yeah then I'll be back well I'll do the other eye as well and then I'll be back right okay so there's both eyes down I've also popped some mascara on as well as you can probably tell 
and uh, yeah I'm really happy with that it looks really nice I love the colours they're really nice for this time of year I think they'd be quite nice for sort of Christmas sort of time as well wherever you may be so uh, yeah next I'm going to do my, the rest of my face so because I'm looking a bit pale at the minute so we need to warm that up a bit so for bronzer I'm going in with the dull gimme sun can you see that yeah and uh, this is in the shade medium it's uh it's really nice bronzer actually i've had this for a little while and i'm nearly out as you can see very very much hit pan there so i'm gonna pop some of that on my brush it's quite pigmented this one so you have to be as light as you can with it although yeah that's something i often struggle with My skin is horrendous at the minute. I still blame it on, you know, the the face mask that we're all having to wear at the moment. And uh, because it's round my jawbone, it's blooming awful. It doesn't matter what I put on it. I just can't, because I don't like heavy foundations or anything. So, uh, I just find for me, it just makes it worse. I try to keep it as light as I can. It's just, you know, just rocking it really. What I like to do is kind of go in a over. This is something I was taught years ago. Just kind of work though. Bit on the old nose. There we go. Right, so then blush, I don't have a blush from them as I said earlier, so I'm just gonna pop on one of my sort of favourites. So I'm just gonna put this is it's got a heart on it. Does it count? This is the two flaced two flaced, two faced uh, love blush. This is in the shade hangover. So it's kind of like a, a peachy shade. So I'm just gonna pop some of that on my cheekies. There we go. Is it me or is my, are my lights like mega bright for some reason today? I don't know if it's because there's sun actually coming in the house for a change. But yeah, I feel like I'm like under a real spotlight, like on stage or something. Right, so for highlighter, I'm gonna go back to this palette again when in that shade Rush that I showed you earlier. So it's this kind of champagne-y shade here. I'm going to use that as my highlighter. Stay. I'm just going to start off by popping a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes and just under my brow first. Take a tiny, tiny bit on the end of a pencil brush. Maybe a bit more than that. just push back over it a bit that's better right okay so I'm gonna highlight the rest of my face I keep dropping everything today oh right 
I'm going to start off with my cheeks. Right, right. so next I'm just gonna do my lips. So I'm actually going in with my, one of my favorite lip colors from Doll Beauty, which is double booked. So it's that shade there, absolutely love it. It's kind of like a pinky brownie nude. It's, it's just really nice. It's a sort of color you can wear all year round as well. I find I've worn it like summer, spring, winter, whatever. So I'm just gonna line my lips first. I haven't got a lip liner for them. They do do them now and they're supposed to be really good as well, but I'm just gonna use my Primark one and it's uh, pretty close in color to that as well. Right, okay, so I didn't tell you what colour this was, this is in the shade Toast. So then I'm going to go on with my Dippy. There we go, I'm just going to finish off with a bit of setting spray and sort out my hair and then I will be back. Okay, so there we go, setting spray and hair, well I've just taken the clips out really. Um, but yeah, there's the finished look, I'm really happy with it, I have to say. Like I said before, I love Doll Beauty products. I think they're really, really good and they're fairly affordable as well. Yeah, and I, I just think they're not really talked about enough, to be honest with you. I think they're probably one of my favourite brands. But yeah, so anyway, there you go. What do you think? I think it's a really nice sort of plummy autumn winter look. So I'll give you a quick close up of the eyes. So I hope you enjoyed watching, I hope you found it useful and if you did obviously please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell for future notifications. I usually upload on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday at around 6pm, give or take. So I hope to see you there. Thank you, bye!